Anytime you're asked to write an academic essay, uh, I would recommend following a template similar to this. Here you have the title page. I would put the full title of your paper here, your full name, and in this case, we'll leave the name of the university here, and I would put the course and then the actual assignment, the title of the assignment uh, here, just for clarification. Now, depending on the type of class and the teacher requirements, you may also want to either include gap here, the genre, target audience, and purpose, or at least be thinking about this, uh, regardless of what type of essay you're writing, uh, I would consider GAP, whether you make it explicit on the title page or, or not. Now here, if you, as you go in, you'll start a page break, or you'll put a page break here to create a new page that begins your paper. And typically, with the five-paragraph essay, you'll begin the first paragraph with the introduction, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion paragraph. So you'll have the title here. So this will be exactly the same title as you have here on your title page. I would include six to 12 words in your title, center the title to the page in bold and main words are capitalized. Here you can include the title of your paper. I would include just up to the first five or six words, uh, not the entire title, all in uppercase as it appears here, along with your page number along the top right-hand corner of your screen. This information here is in the uh, heading, or the header, I should say, the header of the page, and then this will begin the first line of your page. Make sure your text is double spaced, that you have a 0 0.5 or half inch indentation that begins each of your five paragraphs. Although I have labeled here body paragraph, once you uh, use this template, I would remove uh, this, this heading, right? And just have your, your paragraph begin here. So this is just for the purposes of the discussion to remind you that, uh, that you'll have these body paragraphs here but uh, it's not necessary to have a title. The only headings that you're going to have usually in a five paragraph essay will be your, the title of the essay along with your references at the end. So double space times new Roman font size 12. So again, just select the text, make sure that you have that double space. So if you go in here, you can select double space. Just make sure that you have no space before and after the paragraph. By default, Google Docs will typically include uh, a zero here before and after, but uh, double check just to make sure that there's no additional space between paragraphs and between headings and paragraphs. Once you finish here, you'll do another page break to introduce your references. So references is gonna be another level one heading like the title of your essay. So it'll be centered to the page uh, uppercase, uh, you'll capitalize references. Make sure that when you capitalize words that it's only the first letter. So the only case where you'll have words that are all in uppercase will be the, uh, the running head up here where you have the title of the page. So um, try to keep that in mind. And here there are some examples. You'll, check with, you'll need to check with your instructor to see what kind of references that uh, you are to uh, include in your essay. Uh, make sure you qu clarify that, though, though. Make sure you have enough references and that you have the right types of references. There are ca some cases where uh, instructors will only include or only request that you include articles um, or books and no websites. So just make sure that you double check with your instructor to make sure that you are using the correct type of reference and the number, the minimum number of references. And here are some just examples of, uh, according to APA, uh, the style that you'll need to adhere to. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, take a look at this. I've included some notes here as to what to include in some of these sections. Um, so for example, in the introduction, make sure you have a hook, then the background information, and then the thesis statement. It's always helpful to have a transition, use some sort of transition that begins the um, thesis statement. So you'll move from the background information or the context of the problem and transition into the thesis statement. Typically, there are three ways that you can use in a transition. You can use a sentence connector, you can use an introductory phrase, or you can use a subordinate clause that begins the sentence or the thesis statement in this case.
with the meal plan, just make sure you have fully developed meal uh, body paragraphs. So that will typically include the meal plan. So make sure that every paragraph begins with a topic sentence, followed by supporting sentences. Usually in the case of uh, evidence, you'll have citations that will provide the evidence that will support the main idea. Then you'll have some sort of explanation or comment or analysis type of sentences that will try to link the evidence to the main idea. And then follow the, finally, the last sentence of each body paragraph will either be a linking sentence or a summarizing sentence. Typically a linking sentence, uh, think of it in terms of linking it from one body paragraph to the next. Or you can also link the main idea of this current paragraph to the thesis statement. That's another option. Conclusion, uh, you'll want to begin with restating and rewording your thesis statement. So basically the same idea that you introduced at the end of your introduction paragraph, you'll begin the conclusion paragraph with that same idea. But just make sure that you have it in, uh, you, that you paraphrase or that you reword that same idea. Followed by the significance or the relevance of your essay. So think of really why you're writing this. Uh, this is why the gap that I mentioned earlier is so important. So when you're thinking about your target audience and really the purpose of your essay, I would consider that in this section of your conclusion paragraph. Think of the significance and the, re the, the relevance, why you're writing this, uh, what purpose does it serve, and try to articulate that there in the, the conclusion paragraph. Finally, the last sentence of the conclusion paragraph will include a closing sentence uh, just a, basically uh, an idea that uh, finishes your, your idea for the essay and uh, concludes it. Sometimes students uh, like to use uh, quotes. So as is in the hook, uh, you can use a, a quote to begin your essay. Sometimes uh, students will choose to use a quote to conclude the, uh, the essay. But basically, whether you're using a quote or it's your own idea, it's basically a, a general idea that uh, finishes the, uh, the essay. Okay, so I hope this helps and uh, feel free to use this template as a guide and uh, always check with your instructor to, uh, to check beforehand whether or not a template like this will be acceptable if any changes are necessary. But I found that in general, I think this template will go uh, a long way in kind of framing a, an essay for most of the text that you'll be asked to write uh, when, again, they're academic and uh, you need to adhere to APA.